All right, everyone, today we're going to talk about commas in a series of verbs. This is going to look a lot like yesterday's lesson. Here's a review of what commas are. A comma tells the reader when to pause. When you're reading a sentence, remember you take a brief pause when there is a comma, and then you continue on. It helps make the meaning of the sentence clear. Remember when I usually ask you, does your writing make sense? Does that, does that sentence make sense if you read it out loud? Most of the time, it's because you need a comma. Verbs in a series. When you list three or more words together in a sentence, the list is called a series. This is just like yesterday with the nouns. You can do a series with nouns or verbs. However, you need to make sure you have three nouns or three verbs or four nouns or four verbs or a million nouns or a million verbs, not just two. You can use commas to separate verbs in a series, just like you can with the nouns. Remember, a verb tells what the subject is or does. Series will contain action verbs. Run, jump, leap, skip, cry, wink. You can put those together, and you'll see that in just a second. But how will I know where to put the commas? Remember, ask yourself. Are there three or more words listed in that sentence? Hmm. Put a comma after each of the words. However, no comma goes after the word and. These are the same rules for when the words in the series are nouns, so this should all be review. If you need to, go back and watch the nouns video again to practice those skills. Here is an example. Are you ready? Get set. Here we go. The children laughed, jumped, and shouted because it was recess time. The children laughed, jumped, and shouted because it was recess time. I have three verbs there. Laughed, jumped, and shouted. I put a comma after laughed, a comma after jumped, but I did not put a comma after and. They talked, sang, and cheered. They talked, sang, and cheered. I have three verbs. Talked, sang, cheered. I put a comma after talked, a comma after sang, but I did not put a comma after and. Here are some interactive questions. The sentence is going to come up. I'm going to read it and you try to decide where the commas go. Are you ready? The class walked, skipped, and ran outside. Hmm, if you listen to me read that sentence, it should be pretty clear. Can you walk, skip? No, you can walk and skip. I'm going to put a comma after walked, a comma after skipped, but I do not put a comma after and. So the sentence reads, the class walked, skipped, and ran outside. They like to slide, swing, and run. Hmm, where are the three verbs in that series? Slide, swing, and run. That's exactly right. So I'm going to put a comma where? After slide. The next comma goes where? After swing. Do I put a comma after and? No, you're right, I don't. Here are your practice questions. Write the sentences correctly on your homework sheet. Remember to add the commas. Look for where the commas should go. You're going to copy the sentence exactly, then write the, then put the commas in where they should go. Remember, commas don't go after the word and. Pause the video if you need extra time to copy the questions.